I'm gonna take this F450 frame and this body and this 12 valve Cummins and this manual six speed transmission to make the ultimate Ford dent side Cummins truck. So maybe you're curious about the title, Ultimate Ford Dentside Cummins. So ultimate, it's a strong word, but for me, this will be the ultimate Ford Dentside Cummins. Let me tell you why. So one, it's not gonna be the ultimate show truck. It's not going to be a show truck. Two, it's not going to be a concourse restoration. What it's going to be is a work truck and kind of a low budget work truck at that. But it's gonna be cool. It's gonna have the F450 frame, the dent side body, the Cummins motor, and the ZF6 transmission. So for me, that will be the ultimate truck. If you don't know, the dent side Ford is a 73 through 79 pickup truck. The reason they call it the dent side is because it has these dents in the body. And the reason I like these trucks, because I kind of grew up with one. My dad bought a brand new 1973 F250, just a two wheel drive. But he had that truck most of my life growing up and just kind of always liked them. I like the way they look and that's why I want to build one. So the other day, my wife was asking me, why am I swapping frames? I have a perfectly good running truck with a frame on it. So I started to even question my own sanity. Why am I doing this? Well, this is a better frame. This is an F450 frame and not an F250 frame. And there's some other reasons I will show you. The reason I'm doing the frame swap is because this one has a cut in it. It's not quite as heavy duty as the one I have. The one I'm using is a 99 F450 frame. It's got bigger, better brakes, bigger, better suspension. The frame itself is a little stouter. Just all around, a little bit better, a little safer frame. So I can haul a little bit heavier loads and it'll just kind of be the end all be all truck for me. So this is the frame on the 79 crew cab that came with the truck. This is the spot where they extended it. They actually extended it a little bit too long. So this would have to be addressed. It needs to be uh, shortened, re-welded, fish plated and all that fun stuff. It would probably be fine, but it's probably not as good as the F450 frame. So this is a 12 valve Cummins motor. It is an early one. It has a VE pump and the reason I like these motors is they're super simple, easy to get parts for, they run forever, they make decent power, but above all, they're super simple. So this is the Ford ZF6 six-speed manual transmission that I'm currently building. As you can see, it's kind of spread out all over the place. Just doing a basic rebuild on it, doing bearings and stuff like that. The reason I'm using this transmission, it's just a good solid six-speed transmission. There's there's different transmissions out there, the GS6, the NV5600, which are also six-speed transmissions, which would go behind the Cummins. But this one fits in for chassis, transfer case bolts right up to it. I'll have to get an adapter to go from the transmission to the engine and the clutch, but not a big deal. And should just be a good transmission. So that's why I'm using it. So on this episode of Poor Decisions, we're gonna take this frame, we're gonna clean it up, and we're gonna get it ready for paint. So hang tight, enjoy the ride. So uh, brought the old rollback home from work, and. We're gonna grab this frame, take it back up to work where we have a pressure washer and a paint booth. And clean it up, paint it, hopefully it looks a little better. I don't know how to run this truck, so bear with me. We got last night. This is going to
So I got all my uh, rain suit on so I don't get wet and cold. It's a pretty cold day out there. Gonna try to stay somewhat dry. Gonna fire up the pressure washer and go to washing. So it's a dirty, greasy mess. We're gonna hit it with the pressure washer and see what we can get off. wondering if this is just gonna be an old work truck why am I going to all the work and effort cleaning the frame well when you go working on these things and it's nothing but grease and dirt and grime it makes it pretty miserable to work on so I'm gonna be working on this frame for a while getting everything set in so I just want everything clean and nice and why not throw a little paint on it while we're at it so I just noticed this today a little concerned about it the frame looks just a little bit tweaked you can, I don't know if the camera will do it justice but it's just bent just a little bit this way. I don't think it's anything too concerning, but probably better throw a tape measure and a level on it before we get too much more carried away, but we'll fix it or just leave it and run it as it is if it's close enough. So anyway, just wanted to show you that. Sure, I'm glad I wore my rain suit. I am soaked from head to toe, but it's all good. We got it all sprayed off. It looks way better. Got all the old oil and gunk off. 20 four year old frame 25 year old frame a lot of dirt and grime and grease on it but we got her all cleaned up ready to go some lunch while this thing dried so now we're gonna hit it with the grinder knock off a little bit of this rust and uh, see how she looks So we got the frame all pressure wash cleaned up wire brush it's roughly about 33 percent better than what it was it is so far from a professional job that it is what it is but to do this properly you'd have to strip strip everything down sandblast it and then primer it and all that fun stuff and we are not doing that as i stated before this is just a work truck so uh, if you ever get to see this truck in person please don't judge me too harshly but anyway, heading to the paint booth. That's all we got time for today. We got her in a paint booth. Next time we'll be painting it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.